Hi everyone, welcome to How to Crypto. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download Atomic Wallet on your Android device. In order to download Atomic Cryptocurrency Wallet on your Android device, tap open your Play Store. Go to the search button at the top of the screen and type in Atomic Wallet and search. You'll be able to see the application displayed in the search result. Tap on the install button to begin the downloading process for your wallet. Once the download is done, tap on the open button to launch the app open. And that is how you'll be able to download Atomic Wallet on your Android device. You can now either create a new wallet or restore your backup and log into your Atomic Wallet app. How to download Atomic Wallet on your desktop. Open up your web browser in order to start. Right in the address bar at the top of the screen, type in atomicwallet.io and press enter. You'll end up in the home page of Atomic Wallet, which looks like this. At the top right hand corner, you should see a download button in blue popping up in the display. Click that on and you'll be able to see all of the options that you can download the application from. Since we are using the Windows in today's video, let's click on the Windows button. You can also download the app for your Mac and several other options over there. Click on the Windows button to start downloading your application on your desktop. At the top right hand corner, you'll be able to see the download progress. Once the file has been downloaded, click on the open file link. Now wait for a few seconds until it installs on your Windows. And there you have Atomic Wallet application downloaded for your desktop. Click it open in order to launch it on. How to open an account on Atomic Wallet. Open up your Atomic Wallet application from your app drawer. From the first interface of Atomic Wallet, if you'd like to create a new wallet, tap on Create New Wallet button in blue. If you have an existing wallet, choose the second option that says Restore from Backup. After tapping on Create New Wallet, on the next page, you'll need to set up a new password. Create a password for yourself and tap on Set after you're done. Now, confirm your new password one more time by typing it again in the text box. Tap Confirm after you're done. Wait for a few seconds and you'll be able to see the 12 words backup phrases displayed on the screen along with your QR code. Simply write down the 12 words backup phrases and keep it in a secure place. Remember that if you have your backup phrases, you'll be able to restore your wallet anytime you want. Simply tap on copy to clipboard and paste the 12 word phrases into somewhere safe where no one will be able to access them. After you're done, tap on start using Atomic at the bottom. As soon as you do that, you'll end up in the main wallet page of Atomic Wallet, which looks like this. This is the dashboard for your Atomic Wallet. At the bottom of the page, you'll be able to see several other options displayed. You can check your history, exchange your bitcoins, make your exchange, buy and even stake cryptocurrencies from the bottom menu. That is how you'll be able to create yourself a wallet on Atomic Wallet. How to log in to Atomic Wallet on your mobile device. First step is to go ahead and download the Atomic Wallet app and launch it open. If you don't have the app installed on your mobile device, go ahead and visit your App Store or your Play Store and type in Atomic Wallet into the search bar and search. Make sure to download this application from Atomic Protocol System and to download the app, tap on the install button or the download button appearing right under the application. Now wait for your application to be downloaded and installed and then after it is completed, tap on open to launch open Atomic Wallet on your preferred mobile device. Here in the first interface, you'll be able to see create new wallet button and the restore from backup button. If you don't have a wallet yet for Atomic Wallet, you can tap on the Create New Wallet button and follow through the prompts till the end to create a new wallet first. If you already have a wallet and you'd like to restore or access it, simply tap the Restore from Backup link at the bottom. Now, it'll then ask you to enter the 12 word backup phrases in the text box. After entering your 12 word backup phrases, tap on the Restore button at the bottom. Now. It'll then ask you to enter a new password for your wallet. Every time you try to restore your wallet, you'll be asked to set up a new password. Set a new password for your wallet and then tap on set at the bottom. Re-enter your password again on the next page. Now tap on confirm, wait for a few seconds and then you'll be able to open up your atomic wallet right from your mobile device. Pretty easy, isn't it? How to log into Atomic Wallet application using your Android device. 
open up your Atomic Wallet application from your app drawer. In order to log into your Atomic Wallet, you'll need to type in your password that you created during signing up. Type in the password in the text field correct and then tap on the login button at the bottom of the screen. Soon after you do that, you'll end up in the main homepage of Atomic Wallet. It is that simple. All you need to do is make sure that you remember your password and you'll be good to go. How to sign into Atomic Wallet on your desktop? Start off by opening up Atomic Wallet application on your PC. If you've not downloaded the application yet, simply go to atomicwallet.io and search. From the home page of Atomic Wallet, click on the download button in blue at the upper right hand corner and you'll be able to download the application for your PC. Once you open up your application on your PC, you'll be able to see this kind of an interface. To log into your Atomic Wallet, type in your password in the password text field. You can double check your password by clicking on this little eye icon at the right corner, which will help you reveal your password. After you type in your password, you can click on this open wallet button. But if you've not created a wallet for yourself yet, you can click on this create wallet link and follow the instructions. Finally, after typing in your password and clicking on open wallet, you'll be able to land in in the main home page of Atomic Wallet on your PC. That is how you'll be able to log into your Atomic Wallet with the help of your PC quick and easy. How to change your password for Atomic Wallet. Start by opening up your Atomic Wallet application on your desktop. Make sure you're logged into your account and this is the wallet page for your Atomic Wallet which looks like this. Now, in order to change your password to something new, all you need to do is go to the settings button at the left hand side menu. Once you click on that, you'll be able to see this kind of an interface. Go to the security tab at the top of the screen and click it on. Now, before changing your password, make sure to click on this private keys tab at the top right hand and write down your 12 word backup phrases, which will help you restore your wallet if you forget your new password while logging into your account. So always make sure to back up your 12 word seed phrases and secure it somewhere safe. After you are done and you're ready to update your password to something new, first of all, go ahead and type in your old password in the first text box and then head over to the next field and type in your new password. Repeat the new password in the last text box one more time and after you are done, finally click on this change password button. Soon after you do that, your password will be changed into something new. That is how you'll be able to change your password for your Atomic Wallet account. How to find your address on Atomic Wallet. Start off by going to your Atomic Wallet application and click it open. Make sure you're logged into your account and once you are, you'll end up in the wallet page which looks like this. Now, from the wallet tab, go ahead and choose your coin from the list. In my case, I'm going to choose this Bitcoin option. Click it on. On the next page, click on receive. Soon after you do that, you'll be able to see your address along with the QR code displayed on the screen. You can either copy your address by clicking on the copy button or you can also scan the QR code with your phone. Your wallet address will be displayed right under your QR code. If you copy that as well, you'll be able to copy your address. Now go ahead and send this address to one of your friends from whom you would like to receive your cryptocurrencies. That is how you'll be able to find your address in Atomic Wallet. How to reset your password for Atomic Wallet. Soon after you open up your Atomic Wallet, you'll be able to see this kind of an interface. It will directly ask you to enter your password. If you don't remember your password, then there's a way you can easily get access to your account. You'll need to go ahead and restore from your backup. Click on this restore from backup link right beneath the open wallet button. Now, you'll need to type in the 12 words seed phrases. Click on the continue button and on the next page, enter your 12 words backup phrases that you've backed up beforehand. Type them one by one. After you type in all of your phrases, click on restore. Now type in the new password for your account that you'd like to reset to. Make sure to enter the password that will be much more easier for you to remember next time you try to log into your account. You can double check your password by clicking on this little eye icon at the right corner. Repeat the password one more time in the next text field. After you are done, make sure both of the passwords in the text boxes matches. And finally, click on set password. Wait for a few seconds and you'll be locked back into your account even if you've forgotten your password. You've successfully reset to your new password as well. How to log out of Atomic Wallet on your iPhone. Start off by opening up your Atomic Wallet from the app drawer. If you're logged into your account, you'll be able to see this kind of an interface. To log out of your account, go to the settings button at the top right corner and give it a tap. 
From this page, scroll all the way down until you see the log out button at the bottom of the screen. Tap that on in order to log out of Atomic Wallet on your iPhone. Now, if you need to log back in, tap open the Atomic Wallet app and now go ahead and enter your password for your Atomic Wallet in the text box. You can double check your password by tapping on this little eye icon at the right corner of the password box. If you don't remember your password, simply tap on the restore button at the top right hand corner and follow the instructions. After entering your password correct, tap login at the bottom and there you are logged into your Atomic Wallet application on your iPhone. That is how you'll be able to log out and log into Atomic Wallet. How to log out of Atomic Wallet application on your Android device. Start off by opening up your Atomic Wallet application from the app drawer. Soon after you do that, you'll be asked to enter a password. You'll need to enter the same password that you created while signing up for Atomic Wallet. Type in your password correct and tap login to log into your account. Once you're in, you'll end up in the wallet page of Atomic Wallet which looks like this. If you are done using your wallet for the day and you'd like to log out of it for your security, then go to the gear button at the top right hand corner from this page. This will open up a new menu. Scroll all the way down from this page and you'll be able to see a log out button at the bottom. Tap that on in order to log out of Atomic Wallet. Now what happens is that once you log out of your Atomic Wallet, no one will be able to access to your wallet unless they enter the password for your wallet. How to uninstall or delete your Atomic Wallet application from your Android device? Open up your app drawer and right where you see Atomic Wallet, simply press hold the app for some time. This is the easiest way to uninstall your application. Simply tap on the uninstall button from the expanded pop-up and tap on OK from the pop-up in order to confirm your selection. There is another way to uninstall your application on your Android. You should simply go to the settings button from your phone and tap it on. Under settings, scroll all the way down until you find the apps option and give it a tap. All of the list of the applications will be displayed on the screen that are installed on your device. Tap on the Atomic Wallet app and write in the app info section. Tap on the uninstall button at the bottom. Write in the pop-up, confirm your selection by tapping on OK and wait for a few seconds. Your Atomic Wallet application will now be deleted from your Android device. How to delete your Atomic Wallet account If you open up your Atomic Wallet application and go to the settings button over here, you won't be able to find any button that says delete your account, which means there is no straightforward way in order to delete your Atomic Wallet account, but we have a walk around for it. In order to delete your account, close your Atomic Wallet app and now go open up your email provider. In my case, I'm going to open up my Gmail. now. At the upper left hand corner, simply click on the compose button and you'll be able to see a pop-up at the bottom right. In the two text field, type in support at the rate atomicwallet.io. In the subject field, go ahead and type in delete my account. For the body of the text, you can easily type in I would like to delete my account and so on. In my case, I've typed in this sentence over here. After it is done, you can go ahead and click on the send button to send in the email to support at the rate atomicwallet.io. So now after you send in the email, all you need to do is simply wait for the help center to reply. That is the only way you'll be able to delete your Atomic Wallet account. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Comment down below in the comment box if you have a question or a feedback for us. I'll soon be back with more tutorial videos like this. Thank you for watching.